this is Lana from Atlanta's Enchanted Sky. Welcome. These are your readings for your financing career for 2021 of April. Please hit like and subscribe and, and uh, for a chance to win a free reading, hypnosis, whatever I do. Um, month of April on metaphysical meanderings is paranormal month. You, I have all kinds of surprises planned on my podcast, which is now approaching 2 million monthly watchers. So please visit that 9.30 a.m. Central or here on YouTube, you can watch it also. Also visit my uh, Enchanted Sky. You can book a reading on month of April. I am a 25% off again, the prices are lowered. I am also doing uh, guest appearances and I am on location with my podcast. So coming up here in May, I am doing a pet palooza in Milwaukee. Um, I am the featured guest. I'm so honored. <laughs> anyway, because I'm also a pet reader. So anyway, blessings to all you. And let's get on with all these readings. Hey there, Gemini. This is your finance and career reading for the 29th of March to the 3rd of April, 2021. Notice that that card fell out. Best card the deck. That means yes, 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 yes. So that makes this makes you feel any better about this reading. cards in the deck. There they lay. You are picking your pieces up this week. You are reorganizing your mind, reorganizing your life, doing what you need to do this week where you are going to have, yes, the sun, the best card of the deck. You've got, everything's going to be fair and honest and in your favor and the wheel of fortune. So the well, heavenly forces are shining down upon you this week and there's decisions being made you're the ultimate empress and you're going to be getting help i still say this may be this is in the form of a person and it's very well it could be you you're you're the empress which means that you're the ultimate of creativity so you're getting some help from somebody and the empress is giving you're getting support see here's money there's decisions that need to be made this week. And it's, I'm finding it interesting that I'm reading this for, for weekly. And it's a lot of the energy for, is this month that I'm seeing. You know, there is a powerful woman that's going to be helping. You grow your garden. You grow your business. You becoming the person that you need to be. And... You're afraid of being left out in the cold. You're afraid of that. But there's some, but there's people that are here to help you. Now, the Queen of Cups can represent a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. But it also can represent you using your intuition to get yourself through this. Now, you are expecting change. <laughs> You're expecting change. Your hopes, your fears, your wishes is the change that you need. Be, be the... The, the change you wish to see in the world. And it's all for yourself. Something's not working out in the way you wanted it to, too. There's a, a an ending, a darkness before the dawn type of attitude this week. And like I said, things are going to go in your favor during the week. It's going to get better and better and better and better. And I just feel like uh, April's your month. Gemini, you, for some reason, I feel like you're riding that wave that I was talking about on my podcast, um, Metaphysical Meanderings, um, that from February to April, there was a speeding up of energy as we all begin to evolve, as all, we all begin to go back to our, try to go back to a semi-normal atmosphere, okay? You are riding that wave of positivity, all right? And I'm going to shuffle these for you. This is a nice reading. It's you're, you're, There's change, but it's a good change. Okay. I'm 
just doing this at random. On purpose. Become your own authority is so relative. Um, I have a friend that's a Gemini. And she is wanting to do certain things. And I have to laugh because she's becoming her own authority. That's you become the person, not the most knowledgeable person you know at something. And she is doing that. Create a powerful network. Networking, I'm a very good networker. That's something that I do. I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. It, in the long run, will come back to your benefit. You need to be doing that. Contemplate what you're doing. Don't always just run through everything. Geminis are more, they more contemplative than other signs, by the way. Keep going. Don't give up because this is success coming. And I say it's in coming in the month of April for you, and you better be ready. Banish your demons means anything that doesn't serve you anymore, let it go. If it doesn't serve your purpose, your true reason that you've come to the planet, then leave. Get, get rid of the person. Do, do, do whatever you've got to do so that you're ready for this new thing. Change that you want that you, and you feel is coming. And go your own way. Go your own path. Nobody can tell you what to do but you. Now, card of the day is the I am principle. And if anybody's been watching my podcast, they know the I am principle is a lot, uh, intent, align, and manifest. That's me saying that. I made that up and realized that it spells out I am. And I'm like, wow, huh, interesting, huh? So with that said, I'm going to pull an I am card because I just found these and I thought, well, that was cool. I guess I should be making my own cards eventually. One of these days I will. I am impressive, <laughs> which is how, how well does that go? I am accomplished. I continue to gain knowledge that I can achieve the goals in my vision. You have a vision. What is it? Blessings to you. 